Okay, as Mr. Robinson said, I am Gayla Garrison with PepsiCo Food Services. So we now know that everybody's always already had at least Pepsi, right? Yes. Who's drank the Gatorade? As a company, about seven years ago, we changed our format for how we market to schools. We recognized the whole idea of childhood obesity, health and wellness, and nutrition for schools. So as a company, we support the Alliance for Healthy Generation, as well as part of the American Beverage Association, where we do not market or allow certain types of beverages into schools K-12. Actually, for schools K-8, through as a company, we only support an initiative, milk, 100% juice and or water. We only sell Gatorade actually into schools 9 through 12 and we only sell 12 ounce. So we don't allow as a company and the same with other beverage companies as well is that we do not market or sell into schools anything larger than a 12 ounce beverage K-12 planted schools. Yes ma'am. Naked juice or smoothies. They're really good.
what is being asked of me. So it's good when I slow down, right? You, you see how you, you, everybody, everybody got it when I slow down, but that's, it's important. So that was kind of a listening exercise, brain teaser, before, before we get started this morning. I'll turn up to Dion to introduce yourself, and then I'll follow up with you. Yeah. All right, thank you, Tyler. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are we this morning? Good. Yeah. Pretty good. You guys excited to be here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, good, good. Um, we are excited as well to be here. We're definitely thank you guys for the honor to come and speak with you guys and have conversation. Um, so at any time you guys have any questions for us, please let us know. Stop us, raise your hand, and we'll definitely try to answer your questions. So let me tell you a little bit about who I am and, and what I do at, at Frito Lay. I've been with Frito Lay about six years now, um, and I've held actually four different positions while I have been employed at Frito Lay. Um, I graduated from the University of Missouri Rolla, that is in St. Well, close to St. Louis, Missouri, um, which, which is where I'm from. Um, and I graduated with my BS or bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. Okay. Uh, from there, I got recruited from the uh, Jones Fort Arkansas plant. Okay. Uh, started off in what we call our traffic department or logistics. Okay. How many of you guys have seen those big, huge 18-wheelers out on the road? Okay? Right, everybody, for the most part, right? That is the department that I actually started in, okay? So I was responsible for making sure that the product got to its final destination, okay? Um, and then I spent about two years doing that, and then I got the opportunity to then go to our warehouse. Um, our warehouse is where those big trucks actually get loaded, okay? So the production side makes the product, ships it to our warehouse, and then we actually put it inside the trailer. So I've done that for about another two, two and a half years or so. Then I decided I wanted to move to a little bit bigger city. Um, Jonesboro, Arkansas was a very small area. So at that point, I um, had some conversations with some, with some folks that were important, and uh, they got the, I got the opportunity to move out here to Houston. And I started in manufacturing. Um, so manufacturing is where all the fun happens. So we get raw material in, OK? So little bitty kernels of corn and, and potatoes, just as you see if you're at home eating potatoes, right, baked potatoes. And then at that point, it becomes uh, it's a raw ingredient, OK? And then we cook it, we wash it, we clean it, we do all kind of good stuff to it. Okay, and then we run it through all these machines and we grind it up and we cut it up and slice it up in all kinds of different ways. And then we send it through a fryer, just like your frying pan at home. We just have one like quadruple the size of that. Okay, with a lot of oil and things like that. Very good oil, okay, so we use canola oil um, from a uh, health standpoint. So then after that, then we send it over to our packaging room, and then we bag it. And then it becomes the bag that you know as a Frito, a Cheeto, a Dorito. Okay? So that is a, a um, kind of a small description of, of what we do. So it's, it's actually a small world, right? So we went to grade school together, went to high school together. We went to separate universities. She started out at Southeast Missouri State. I started in Tennessee, uh, Tennessee State University. Ended up transferring out a year later. Went to University of Missouri Rolla, the same school we, uh, we both graduated from, where we met. Um, I worked over the summer for uh, Frio Lay as an intern. Um, uh, and then I got an opportunity to go back to work full time in Jonesboro, Arkansas, um, before given, having an opportunity to come to, to uh, Houston. Um, so a little bit about what I do. I work for Frito Lay, and uh, I started out a little different career path than Dion. I started out making Doritos, as Gayla uh, just showed you, and Tocito scoops. Um, so uh, after that, I went to go make Fritos and Cheetos um, before I got a chance to move, to move to Houston. Before I got into kind of really using maintenance and engineering, um, uh, which I got my degree in electrical engineering. So going back to how to make a Dorito, kind of, Dion gave you kind of the peak under the tent of how to make it. Uh, she told you about seed to basically shell. So start off as a yellow corn kernel. Uh, you take it, uh, you, you clean it, you soak it, uh, you cook the corn at high temperatures, um, and then you, you soak it in what we call water and lime. And what it does is break down the kind of the, the husk and the hull of the corn um, before you, you then take it right through what we call a, a um, uh, a grinder, basically it's not a grinder, it's just, it's a, a, a it's stones and it, it just shears the corn. It doesn't, it doesn't smash the corn, it shears the corn. And 
once the coin is sheared, it t then turns into what we call masa. So you guys play Play-Doh, Play-Doh, and all that, right? Or like your, your, your mom or dad making pizza, the, just the dough. That's exactly what corn is once it gets it's sheared together. Once the, the, the corn is sheared together, it goes to what we call rollers, sheet of rollers. And just like Play-Doh, you roll it out on the table with your, with your dough pen. We do the same thing with the, with the masa. And after it's rolled out, nice and thin like we want it, uh, it's then cut in the shape of a triangle or the Dorito shape. And it's taken off the sheeter, goes through the oven. We take some of the moisture out. Um, we send it up another conveyor, we put it in a fryer, we fry it for a minute or so. And then it goes through the seasoning, put a little nacho cheese, I like nacho cheese. Uh, <laughs> the, the cool ranch, the cool ranch, whatever the, the flavor is. And then it goes to packaging. And to answer your question, um, and this is a question I know I know the folks in the back of the room may want to know. Um, when we put it into a bag, um, most of the times we get a bag, it's an air bag. Why is this an air bag? Everybody want to know that. But it's all based on weight. Uh, if you see any of our bags, on the bottom right corner of the bag, it's going to say gram exactly. So ounces, grams, kilograms, whatever, it's going to give you the weight of that bag. And so everything is measured by weight, not by how many chips we think is supposed to go in the bag, but just, just by the gram. So we have a uh, we have a 14 uh, hopper uh, weight hopper machine that we use to, to measure out the weight of the chips before it before it goes into what we call a bag maker, um, and then the, the machine makes the bag and you, know, you have the bag of chips. So that's that's a similar process we use across um, making our Doritos, our Tocito scoops. A little bit different to make a Cheeto and a Frito, but kind of the same process leading up into. <laughs> And so, you know, water is a uh, is, is handy. So let's say I have, you know, 20 ounces of water in a potato versus 10 ounces of water potato. Water is handy. So as I slice fried or peel slice fried potato, and I start to make a bag of potato chips, it's going to take less potato chips to make, you know, the two ounce bag of potatoes that I make versus that 10 ounce potato. It's going to take more potatoes, potatoes to make them. Yes, sir. I saw, saw these hands and I'll come to you, okay? All right? Yes, sir. Oh, the graphics on the back? Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good. So, that you, so this is a science, technology, engineering, and math group, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a, that's a different part of the business. It's more of your business marketing, business innovation. Uh, that's more of that, that whole uh, I guess no. sector of uh, technology, technology. Yeah. but but it takes graphic graphic artists um, can also be a part of that team as well um, to, to have that vision and, and to be able to use AutoCAD or whatever uh, technology they're using to make those graphics. Um, so, did I answer your question? 